Hi guys, today I'm going to be going through phase difference. Now before we start talking about phase difference, I want to talk about the phase of a wave. Now here we've got a normal regular sine wave just going up and down, and here we've got one whole wavelength. And we can think of parts of this wave in terms of one whole wavelength. So here I've got lambda, my whole wavelength. Here I've got half of a wavelength. Uh, this section here, if I go down like this, this would be uh, a quarter of a wavelength. And this here, going all the way back up, uh, well, that would be uh, three quarters of a wavelength. Now, we don't just have to write a wave or parts of a wave in terms of a wavelength. If you think about what a wave is doing, it's going up and down, and it goes back to a uh, back to the same point, and that is exactly the same really as going round a circle. And we can think of parts of a parts of the wave in terms of the angle of a circle. So with an angle of a circle, I'd have zero, ninety degrees, one eighty, two seventy, and then back to uh, well three sixty as well. So instead of thinking in terms of uh, wavelengths, I can think in terms of angles. So this would be 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. And I don't just have to think about it in terms of angles. Uh, it, in degrees, I can also think about in terms of uh, radians. Now, a whole circle is actually 2 pi radians. Let me just change my colour. So I've got 2 pi here, 2 pi radians, uh, or 0. Uh, here I've got pi. Uh, here I've got pi over 2. And uh, here I've got 3 over 2 pi. Oops. So let me just draw this on the main diagram. So I've got 0. Uh, I've got pi here. 2 pi. Uh, I've got pi over 2 90 degrees and the 270 is 3 over 2 pi. Phase difference. So phase difference can be thought of as a lag in time between two uh, similar waves of the same frequency and they can be measured in radians, degrees uh, or even fractions of a wavelength. Now here we've got two different waves. We've got a blue wave here, and we've got our red wave here. They've both got the same wavelength, they've both got the same frequency. But the blue wave, you can see, if this is time here, uh, on this axis here, on the x-axis, you can see the blue wave is slightly ahead of the red wave. So there's a phase difference between the two. And we want to know, well, how much of a phase difference is there? Well, a simple way of doing it is looking at the, the wavelength. So let's look at the wavelength of the blue uh, wave here. Okay, so that's from there to there. That is a whole wavelength. And let's just imagine that roughly this distance here is a fifth of a wavelength. Okay, so I've measured it somehow and I found that it's a fifth of a wavelength. So uh, that is the phase difference. You could say it's one fifth of the wavelength, but if you wanted to do it in terms of uh, degrees, so you'll do 360 times by one fifth divided by one, that would give you 72 degrees. Or if you wanted to know it in terms of radians, you do 2 pi uh, times one fifth divided by 1, and you'd get 2 fifths of pi radians. That would be the phase difference. Now here we've got examples of identical waves that are all in phase. They've all got this, there's, there's no phase difference between them. If I point out the peaks of all the waves, you can see that they all coincide at the same point. So we say these waves are in phase. Now here we've got some examples of waves that are out of phase. The wavelength is the same for all the waves, 
the frequency is the same for all of the waves. But if we look at the peaks, you can see they're not all happening at the same time. Although the red and the black are almost in phase, but they're not quite. You can see all the waves, they're all got different points happening at different times. So these waves are what we call out of phase. Comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy face!